Touchdown the whole town. About to hit the studio, hit the lab tomorrow. Gonna hit nature, bust a couple of players, check on the family. You know, I'm gonna keep y'all tuned in. And I see y'all got my crystal. You check, man. I thought they was gonna snatch my crystal. Yo, last time, last time I touched down out here, it was like a year after the whole jab had hit the world, right? So the vibes was a little low. It was like November 2021. Now the vibes. Actually, I ain't even left for you. I don't know if it's just me vibing hard, me being ready. To have energy on the planet, it's good anywhere. That's how I know it really be you. It really be the frequency you want. Yeah, city could be emitting real low, or environment could be emitting real low. Yo, mindset it is like man, you vibing hard. You gonna change that atmosphere? But it's definitely a different aura. Definitely a different aura. But I gotta keep people. Most people just look at the head in the face. I don't even think some of these people real. But yeah, man, I'm gonna hit y'all on the mic. Back on the limb, man, I swear I miss all this shit, man. As soon as I got off the train, bro, the music bumping, soul bumping, just all type of soul, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause it's Aboriginals in Phoenix and all that in Arizona, but a lot of them got no, they don't got no soul, you know what I'm saying? I'm seeing all different type of genetic makeups, but it's us though, like some people with short nose, small nose. Hey, hey, can I see that snake? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, for sure, I'm about to throw you on the camera. See, it's all type of, different type of varieties of folks out here, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people be protective of their energy, you feel me? So, it's a lot of spiritual attacks going on in these inner cities. See, in Arizona, that lady would have had the snake on her neck and all that, she would have stopped. But she was skeptical. She was like, you can see, a lot of people live in fear out here, you know what I'm saying? They on a fear of frequency. But it's all right. One of the chiefs on the land, I'm coming rising energy, you know what I'm saying? Damn, this shit changed, bro. This shit changed. They building up these buildings and shit like that. They got hotels and in the, in the hood. Trying to make them look nice. Imagine you coming out of town, right? You thinking like, oh, we finna stay at the Moxie. Nigga, you get here. You two minutes away from Martin Luther King Street. You know, all Martin Luther King Jr. streets is fucked up. <laughs> Boy, I'm, we a block away from the trenches. I'm at the house, though. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me, when I get home, I stay on my own lane. Feel me? I stay in my own little territory that I always knew. But yeah, man, I'm gonna hit y'all when I get to the house. Come on, this is the last time you see me walking. I'm back at the house, man. You see, I got the Zulu stick. Now I'm making a little vlog for my, um, for my little YouTube and all that. Yeah, yeah man. I'm here with Mom Dukes, man. What y'all know about this? <laughs> yeah, man, I like this one. Peace, y'all know I'm done with the processed noodles, but I'm a trap baby. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get back to them elements sometimes. I'll detox when I get to the house. You know what I'm saying? Say what's up to the vlog. Star seeds, young star seeds. All right, y'all. Let's play. Don't worry about that. My little nieces, man. We are playing. We are playing Great Flip and Peach Guess Game. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's start it over, y'all. We're gonna mix them up. Good. Yeah, I have no vacuum. That's no vacuum. I need no vacuum. Okay. Spend time with y'all family, man. Go check in with y'all family, man. You gotta be the reflection you wanna be. Seriously. 
I got everybody on there, man. You know what I'm saying? Family time, you feel me? Peace to y'all, peace to y'all. Welcome back to the vlog, man. All right, so this is my second day. I just rose up. Touched down yesterday, but, bro, my pops had some bangers in there. He didn't realize the medicine he had. So right now I'm using some of this, some of this, uh, some of this, uh, Bordolo Bowl. And it help with relieve pain, inflammation, remove toxins, mucus, reduce cough and soreness, right? I never even heard of this herb. You wouldn't need to get boiled down right in the teeth. This getting right. I'm about to throw the top back on you. It's a couple books I've been I was cracking down on yesterday. It's a book called Divine Magic. See, I got my Zulu stick, man. I wish I could take this shit back home, but they're gonna try to take it at the airport. You know, this is the same material they um use for them police batons and shit like that. I'm gonna be this like it's real ancestral. I'm gonna have to get this there somehow. You know what I'm saying? Alright, but let me show y'all these books I've been breaking down, right? So I was reading this, The Book of Divine Magic, by Omnan Mikhail Ivan Hav, long ass man, you know what I'm saying? Some Dravidian, but he was breaking down some of the sciences in there, you know. Yo, this shit's so crazy, right? Bam, 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 bam. But it's crazy because my pops had the OG one too. Let me see. My dad got a lot of fucking comments. You feel me? It's more than this. I'm trying to find the Black Panther one. Let me know if y'all see it in there. You see all these comments? These are all comments about niggas. You know what I'm saying? Aboriginals. They all made them after you. They just started painting the white faces later on. You feel me? found it it's the original one too peace to the vlog peace to the vlog man going there with big haze man you gonna build it the cook up man i was trying to vlog earlier but i forgot because i was shooting a video i was on top of the mountain but I'm definitely gonna see some more nature tomorrow i'm gonna go to sf Early, early am. Go we'll see that water. Dive in that water. Okay. Yeah, no, I ain't doing all that. Yeah, I'm gonna let that one. <laughs> yeah, Yo, I'm gonna let you. Dive in there. I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna, um, I'm loaded, y'all. I'm gonna restart a live when I get something going in. I try to hear what I'm gonna cook. Back with the vlog, man. It's San Francisco, baby. Every time I come out here, it's like a mini New York, you know? See the building, got the alleys and shit. You know, they really plugged in out here. It's a beautiful land though. You can tell the masses are our people. It's crazy because all our people, we be. We know how to get through the traffic. Folks that made bikes with motor pegs on them. You feel me? We gonna find a way. All these bots, they sitting in their Prius and traffic. I seen one bro with a motorcycle. He getting up through them. That's how I know he Aboriginal. <laughs> he figured out a mechanism how to get through this traffic out here. They don't even want you to drive out here. It's better. You better off catching the train for real. Yeah, I'm out here just handling some business real quick. I'm gonna go to the ocean. I thought I handled this business. Got some rare items I'm I'm acquiring and quizzing thing about politics, you know. Well, I done smelled every type of food. I was walking five blocks. <laughs> I've been trying to vlog more, but time be flying by out here. I don't know why. Like, when you live in inner cities or when you're in the inner city, time just be flying by. You feel me? I'm going to catch up with y'all. Yeah, man. Got to handle my business on my way to the ocean. One thing about the city. You can sell everything. Anything. It's all on the perspective of your mind. Like, I was just talking with my bro yesterday. He said... He said, bro was hitting the jug for the computers, right? I mean, for the calculators. He got somebody who bulk sell the calculators, so he'll bring 10 calculators at 40 a pop and be selling them. And a lot of people think they stuck at their job, but they stuck working. There's so many ways you can make revenue. There's so many ways you can fluctuate new, but you have to use your mind. See, this matrix have you thinking, oh, let me just use my body and waste hours, and that's gonna get me rich. 
it don't matter. You could work 10 hours every fucking day and die broke. You got to use your mind to try to add on more intellect and more. You got to expand your vision or else you're going to be blocked off. Your body can't unlock everything. Your skills can't unlock everything. Sometimes you got to have a deeper vision and nobody going to believe you. You gotta just stand on it and put it out there. Cause even if it miss, hey, at least you tried, bro. At least you made the effort. You know what I'm saying? That's all what it's about. You rather have all your visions and all your dreams that you acted on than doing something and regretting it. So I was pulling up, right? These folks had on these uh these outfits on. I don't know. It's called like uh, uh, alchemy or something like that. It's some type of group. Hey, there's a bunch of brothers outside with some jackets on, right? So they standing outside in their little circle. They not even like looking at me. Walk. They ain't trying to pay attention. I'm like, I'm trying to get their attention. Like, yo, I want to know about your faction. If you post it out here in the community, y'all got all these damn jackets on. Y'all look like y'all patrolling the neighborhood. I want to know what's the origin of. Them. You know what I'm saying? Here go another one. Peace, fam. Peace. I was trying to get the, um, I wanted to see what y'all organization was, because I seen a bunch of brothers over there standing together, it just looked interesting, you know, I looked at militant, you know what I'm saying? What's the, uh, urban, uh, urban okay, urban alchemy, for sure. Okay, yeah, I'll do my research online, yep. peace, peace. It's the second time they said that. Anybody that's in a part of something, you should be able to break down what it is when I ask and walk up to you. That's why you don't need to join no groups. A lot of us lost, man. People don't be doing this shit for the right reasons. And then they looking at you sideways like you finna do something to them. What kind of community shit is that? Urban alchemy. Y'all ain't, man, all right, I'll go look it up and see what it's about. But we don't need no more groups in our community. We need everybody to know who the fuck they is. You just blindly following motherfuckers. You doing the work on another man's agenda, just like these rappers. They ain't no different than a rapper. Peace, peace, guys. I just seen a bunch of people with the uh the, the green jackets on and all that. Y'all was just looking interested. I was wondering like what is it? Like is it some type of faction? Y'all protect the community? What do y'all do? Or is it a job? It's a job. That's what I follow. That's what I figured. Yeah. And then um basically most of us are like For real? Oh, okay. So it's like a program basically for It's not a program, you get paid twenty one an hour yeah. sit here and talk to the little Okay. Now I just seen a bu I just seen a bunch of uh, a bunch of brothers. They was all like standing in a circle. Or some, so I'm thinking it's some type of black owned business. Somebody is starting that business from the ground grassroots. But when I was walking up asking, they was looking at me crazy. You feel me? It is like a. That's what I'm trying to. I was trying to see if it was like black it's owned like, or something like that. You know? Yeah. For a minute, I thought that was on point for people you know watching out for us or something like that you know on how the crime is or whatever like that but you know they let them folks set up right there and and do and sell whatever they want you know what i'm saying but i just seen um i just see the circle and all that and it was just interesting but when i walked up everybody's acting like they want to talk to me i'm like damn i hope this group ain't for the like for the people and all shit like that because i'm trying to come up and get the backdrop niggas looking at me crazy i see it's just a job y'all just at work so. Yeah, nah, you cool people. I'm happy you opened up to me because I try to talk to two people. They like, yeah, um, basically like just Google the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, if I had to ask you about an organization, I just wanted to know, you know, especially now nah, you cool. I could tell you like at work, but they had like these green jackets on all standing in the circle. You know what I'm saying? You talking about the yeah, yeah, the camouflage one. So it was just interesting. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't never seen no group like that posted like that. So when I asked them. I'm thinking there's some type of like community protection or some shit like that. I'm like, okay, maybe we actually waking up. I'm from out here, but I'm moving to AZ. I just flew in for a few days. Yep, yep, I'm out there. It's cheap out there and shit like that. And you can run it up, good home base. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to deal with all the taxes and extra shit out here. And if you want to come home here, just fly home. You know what I'm saying? But I, I moved the fuck up out of here. Yeah, I'm about to move to Atlanta. Atlanta? Yeah, I got family in Atlanta. That's for like, I don't know. It's like oversaturated. Yeah, eventually, then they'll be running it up there. Like, if I move to Atlanta, I'll probably go, like, to the outskirts, you know what I'm saying? So I can yeah. still be by the city, Nigga, that's what Right, like, on some, maybe, like, a... Not the city. Yeah, but uh, it, basically Atlanta, though, you know what I'm saying? You can get there, you know what I'm saying? Money. Exactly. About an hour out, 40 minutes out, then you can still get them good prices. Yeah, and they be, still, they, they be letting that shit go for the low, too. 
you got your money right, it ain't nothing compared like out here. Like, you can't even get a block on the house you from, I mean, from the block, you can't get a house on the block you from out here. You know what I'm saying? And don't don't try to be getting an apartment. Oh, leasing, you got to wait for the waiting list. You out of town, it ain't no waiting list. Like, they, don't hear, they don't know about that shit. People trying to get their money. You know what I'm saying? But I, huh? A tourist. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You didn't expect oh. that. What you thought? What you thought? Yeah, I be tweaking. But it's really like a grounded thing. And another thing too, I feel like we got polar opposites with the signs. I feel like sometimes we got two or three we don't really know about. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'll read characteristics from another one and it'll line up with what I do. You know what I'm saying? The Taurus one is accurate. I like I got that bull flame. Crazy. That's kinda like why I just coming up off the hip speaking like this. But this is just my energy. You know what I'm saying? Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I appreciate you chopping it up with me things like that. People real hostile out here, you know what I'm saying? But this like the most important part of the land. Like you go to Arizona, it's Mexican everywhere, you don't see niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mexicans everywhere. Like you know how niggas be in the hood, it be Mexican hood, like they act like us though. That's how many of them is, like you know what I'm saying? It, it's cool and all that. But niggas need to be coming back to the land sometimes. When I come back to the land, my own people look like I'm gonna steal something from them. Every time I'm walking up, like I be trying to, I don't just be talking to them and shit. But that, with my people though, it's yeah. like people be more in living in fear. You know what I'm saying? That shit I mean, crazy. It's hell shit that be doing. It do. It do. That's the same time you don't ever have to be. Yeah, that's the thing too. Yeah, I be trying to protect, I be protecting my energy. If you know you like that, you know you with it and shit. Right. You shouldn't be that part, yeah, that's true. But a lot of people, like, even if a lot of shit is going on, I feel like that's not. I feel like a lot of people living in fear, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because even before I came out here, I'm like, shit, I ain't going to the east. I'm going back to the east. You know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as I got here, I'm in East Oakland in 10 minutes. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Like, what is you? 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's up, though. You are again and all that. But I was, I'm like, why these niggas just looking at me like I'm asking them? Alien question, you know what I'm saying? For real, standoffish. I get it though. I get it. You gotta be on your point, but you should be able to read them up and see what they on though yeah. when they come up. You know what I'm saying? Like if I wanted to get you, I'm not gonna let you know I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? If I'm coming up to you, making it known I'm coming, you being on point, it ain't really doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you know, thank you, man. Thank you for uh, chopping it up with me. Have a good day at work. Yeah, man. She was cool people though. You know what I'm saying? I got to get one conversation, but it's crazy that God has had to, I had to channel through her to be able to actually get some information. You feel me? This shit crazy though, bro. It's like we at war with our fucking self. And everybody else ducking their head, waiting for us to die. Look, they ducking their head, going to work, waiting for us to die off. Get y'all niggas out the way so we can build our utopia matrix. While the elites eat, eat, eat. <laughs> I finally got a good lengthy part in the vlog. I wasn't expecting that shit. That was a spirit. Spirit gonna get that question answered. You feel me? See, I don't look at shit on earthly realm. A lot of people think, oh, why are you just stopping in the middle of the street to talk to somebody randomly on your day? Listen, man, I live on a spiritual plane. I be walking back and forth from earth realm. You feel me? It's gonna be a good vlog though, man. This shit coming together, you know? Cool. She chopped it up with me like that. She was cool. She had some beautiful eyes too. But you see, I let her be. In certain situations like that, you probably be like, oh, let me try to get her number. Let me try to talk to her more. No, she served her purpose for that moment, bro. You gotta move on. You gotta move on. <laughs> I'm out here on the land. We looking for the land, it's right here. Check this little piece out. Y'all see that? Of course, they're gonna paint them light as hell. They light, light, light. Yeah, all right. The yellow my, the yellow my tribe. If that's even it. But they say this. They said the land ain't changed that much. They said the land changed, but I can see how they inhabited this place. Man, San Francisco was heavily populated when the invaders came. It's just sick that they have, they have colonized 
a natural area. What is this? What is this supposed to be? You're, ter you're marking your territory, right? Because you want to mark some shit. What Rashad Jamal say? If you stole something, you trying to and you trying to mark it. What you gonna do? I'm a flag on it. Stand on my territory. If it's yours, you don't gotta put flags and titles on it. But that's what they is. Some possessive gimme, gimme, gimme. Even how the way they think of love. I love you. Don't ever talk to nobody again. Only me, cause I love you. Like it's obsessive. Love comes from value and appreciation. You know what I'm saying? It's our fucking land. Y'all thought I was playing, huh? I'm going to get in there. Shit! <laughs> but if y'all think ocean ain't an entity, you crazy. You crazy. The ocean is an actual entity, boy. And that motherfucker don't play no games. Like, the ocean cool and all. It look cute and all that. But get to walking in there, bro. Get to walking up. You going to realize the power of this motherfucker, bro. I can feel it. The, the more closer you walk, the more you realize, yeah, I can't handle that shit. Like, when this shit at your feet is cool, but imagine this shit at your neck. Feel me? Even right here. I have to just show you on the land real quick, you know what I'm saying? Grounder, grounder. <laughs> Peace, so that's my last couple days in the bay. I have a surprise visitor. I'm just washing clothes right now. I said, I don't recognize you. They just waiting on me when I left out the door. It's a beautiful day, though. It's crazy because out here, every time the sun come out, it's, I know it's supposed to be hot everywhere on the planet, but CERN work overtime in these inner cities. CERN program work overtime. Like, it's to the point where as soon as this shit come out, like, it, the sun is fighting the rest of the frequencies now. But they try their best with their ice crystals. To make sure shit don't get connected, you know? And make sure we don't get connected to that natural source of light. That shit is crazy. Like, any time the sun starts coming out, it's like they slap hella cloud, and 20 minutes later, it's cloudy sky. Bro, it literally just sprinkled. It literally was just sprinkling, like, 30 minutes ago. And, and then you just seen when I walked up the house, it was... Fuck. Copyright. Ground in there. Shit feels so good. You could feel the earth pulling them toxins from the bottom of your pores on your feet. For real, for real. Stay to the best place to be, man. Where else we supposed to be? They built the concrete jungle on top of the real jungle. Get <laughs> that some shit. PC all man. Sliding out of Oakland. A real interesting trip coming home, but it's time to wrap it up. On to the next journey. I left home for a reason. It's beautiful to come back home, but it's beautiful to leave. To grow and bring back more. Yes, I'm chiefing in the station. I'll see y'all on the plane, man. Really see y'all when I get back. Just touched down. I'm back in Phoenix. I went on my Uber right now. Ready to charge up, ready to come some new energy. I love flying planes and love landing off planes because when you land, you forget everything you went through. It's like you get a reset when you hit the energy grid of the new city or wherever you at. New ventures coming soon, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Something like this my first vlog putting together. So, peace to y'all, though, man. Keep y'all frequency high. We're going to keep working. Keep the center really doing this real life work, trying to get in the realm, link with the light beings, and also learn this knowledge about Earth School. Can't learn everything on the internet. Peace.